So uh, in segments of the Ride Show, we like to bring you uh, the most important people in the world. And, and despite what I might think about myself a lot of the time, uh, in the car design world, uh, Ian Cullum has joined us again. Ian, uh, thank you for um, being here. The last time we talked was uh, 2006 when I, I came over to uh, Birmingham and uh, you, we talked about the design of the uh, XK yeah. at that time. But what I wanted to do today is, in, in, rather than just talk about where your ideas come from, is work with you and create some ideas. And so we did a little different thing here. Um, we're going to we're going to pull out the old sketch pad and we're going to design the, the next generation of car. <laughs> we're going to design the next generation of Jaguar right here uh, okay. with Ian. So what I thought I'd do is... Um, In totality. We'll just do it all now. <laughs> all now, yeah. yeah. Okay. So we'll be finished by lunch and yeah. uh, maybe the car will be done by tea time. I mean, most designers tend to draw from the front to the rear. Okay. So, so it's so almost like the written word, you know, the start, the finish. Right. I like a little bit of a, an arched hood and then uh, a long sloping windshield. Maybe that's more better. like that. Yep, that's fine. And then um, you need to get a little bit more attitude in there. So this has to come up. So this is the light. This, you want to get this as short to the front as possible, if you can. So you're looking for a very <coughs> short overhang. Yes, if we can. I mean, it's not always possible because we have plant requirements. Is this how the process really goes? Yeah. Do we start a process of just drawing some I do. shapes? Draw a sketch, yeah. Um, and then the engineers go, oh, I can't make that, I'm sorry. Well, what we actually do is we start off with sketches like these. We do actually scan them into Photoshop and we render them up. And that's about where I kind of leave the process then to the designers to start creating um, three-dimensional models in Alias. The same stuff we use in the film industry, you know, for um, animation stuff. And we will build an, a, a virtual model in Alias. And then with that model, we'll check it, look at it, and we'll rotate it, and we'll animate it. And then we'll cut a full-size car in clay. We still right. use modeling clay. And we'll start to see what this car looks like. My friend, it's always a pleasure. Thank um, you. I hope that we don't leave it uh, three years until we talk again. No, I hope but not. It's good, it's good fun. Yeah, next time. And um, we'll talk about some of the, the, the stuff that you've alluded to that's coming in the future. I hope you'll be able to tell us more. I will, indeed. Thank you. All right.